All right, welcome everybody. So I'm going to go over virtualization or using Android emulator on your computer so you can play Lords Mobile. But there are a few things that you need to do in order for you to play with a smooth emulator. So first thing what I'm going to do is a lot of people use LD player or Bluestack. We're going to go ahead and go search for Android emulator LD player the player I think okay and once we come over here and search for it what we're going to see is ldplayer.net and we're gonna go ahead and download so once I download I can go ahead and open and install LD player and we'll go ahead and install LD player now what I'm going to show you is when we get the LD player open it's basically going to give you an Android device pretty much on your computer and sometimes it doesn't run as much and a lot of people because there's lack of information or people aren't sharing the information I don't know exactly what's going on I actually had to uh, do some digging around but it doesn't run that well as an Android unit the emulator itself so there are a few things that you're going to have to do in order for you to make it run smooth okay now that it's downloaded and it actually opened so this uh, you can almost look at it like your like your phone right Android phone so I'm gonna go in here and go ahead and search for games I'm click on clicking on it So it may need some time okay so LD player was taking way too long and I didn't want to have to actually have to wait all of that time to download anything especially trying to download Lords mobile so I've actually fired up my uh, blue stack and right now it's telling me that BlueStack is unable to use hardware assisted virtualization for better performance C yaddy yaddy right but I'm gonna go ahead and continue anyway I go to my games and Lord's Mobile here I've already downloaded so we didn't have to wait all that time so I'm gonna go ahead and get it turned on so that I can show you what's happening or how smooth or how not smooth Lord, uh, Lord's Mobile plays on an emulator so here you can see how long it takes to download or even just to start this game up right and for for a case where we have to have this or switch over swap over to different accounts quick it's going to take forever it's just not worth it and it's bogging down the computer I can already hear my computer fan going pretty crazy and I really can't do anything else when I'm running this So let me come back on when this game actually boots up and then we'll continue from there. Okay, so after some time I was able to get the game started. Now let's see how smooth it is. So I'm going to go ahead and shut down. I'm going to try to move it around and you can see that it's actually big time. It's lagging pretty big and even this you can see the graphic lag and you can see the response time right so this is the main reason why many people I think once they downloaded the BlueStack or LD player they just uh, give up on it and just continue on playing with their phone but the advantage of course having an emulator that's running very well you can actually have multiple accounts that you can watch on your computer as well as have your phone which allows you to control several accounts at a time so that's the advantage of having the emulator on your laptop or your computer but if it's running like this who's ever going to want to do that right in order for us to eliminate that problem what we're going to do is we're going to turn on our virtual virtualization on in our BIOS so you would go on to the most left and what you want to do is type in settings and which brings up settings application 
and once you bring up the settings application you want to go into update and security and when we go into update and security look for recovery and you see advanced startup right here and basically you want to click on restart now which will give you an option that you can go in and change your BIOS and restart your computer okay so excuse the mess on this recording I had to record it on my cell phone but this is basically what we're going to get here and we're going into troubleshoot and we are going to after the troubleshoot you press on the click on the troubleshoot and you will go into advanced options and you see on the right second row UEFI firmware setting this is where you would go in and you would press restart and after a little time your computer will reboot itself and you would be brought on to this particular menu from here you would go into your boot menu or BIOS setup and once you go into BIOS setup you would go under I believe advanced tab here no not security what we're looking for and it may be under different tab but what we are looking for is something called virtualization within your BIOS uh, VTX is what it may be called and it may be on system options possibly and if we go down you see VTX right here and normally it's unchecked when it comes the factory settings are so you would actually check this particular box and you would go into your main or system option or go back and on the bottom I think or, or it may be different on your BIOS but they are very similar basically go back to your main and you would save the changes and exit which will reboot your computer at this time and you want to say yes to save changes okay so now I got the virtualization turned on I downloaded the LD player and I downloaded Lords Mobile and I fired up the LD player and I'm going to go ahead and fire up the Lords Mobile game itself and let's see how much difference virtualization makes by turning on your virtualization you can obviously tell that the game itself is log logging in a lot quicker now and it's actually responding pretty well here I can actually move around without lag or anything like that and I'm actually able to play with the game just like I would on mobile uh, my of course my preferred method is still on a mobile phone just because that's what I started out with and that's what I'm used to but obviously this works very well and so I recommend that if you are going to play it on your computer before you download the emulator whether it's LD player or blue stack or any others out there what I would suggest is turning on your virtual on your virtualization on your bias BIOS and then get the programs downloaded then download your game and open it up that way you don't have to go through all the hassle and so I hope this video helped you guys if you were considering having multiple accounts and how to keep it open for me this is what I do I keep multiple accounts open this way with um, another phone and it works out great for me and in the future I'll probably make a video about the uh, LD player to introduce what type of functions are available for it but just for this particular video I'm just letting you know for those who's got the emulator running but it's slow it most likely the problem is you didn't turn on your virtualization okay so thanks for watching and I'll catch you guys on the next video